asking that uh, we would keep our answers fairly short on these, but uh, well, what do you think is, is the most pressing issue that uh, would face Congress today, and, and uh, what would you do to, to fix it? Sure, absolutely. The simple answer is jobs. Um, I, I think that's probably not a surprise for any of us, but uh, you know, I think Gene mentioned the figures, but we have hammered jobs here in South Central Kansas, and I think that uh, the voters of the fourth district are demanding some real solutions to get this uh, economic house in order. Uh, in terms of what we can do, I would say, you know, really two things. Uh, number one is there are uh, getting the nation's fiscal house in order, getting government's fiscal house in order, uh, is very, very important. We do have too much spending. We do have to get uh, spending accountability in Washington, and I think we can all agree to that. Uh, and so that's obviously the first and foremost job as a member of Congress is to make sure that we get back to balanced budgets. Uh, some of you may recall that seems like a, a wistful generation ago, but just 10 years ago, uh, we had a balanced budget uh, and, um, at the federal level. And we need to get back to that as soon as possible. And we need to do that, again, by pulling together. It's not going to happen if we continue to engage in the name calling, the partisanship, and think that only one side has the answer, and one side has caused all of the, all of the problems and fiscal mess that we're in. It's going to require a serious, sober, bipartisan commitment to reducing the deficit and, reducing and, and taking on tough challenges like entitlements to actually get our nation's fiscal house in order. Secondly, if I could, I would also talk about there is a great potential if we invest in innovation. You know, Wichita and South Central Kansas has a great history of entrepreneurship. And if we can invest strategically and smartly in new technologies, renewable energies, composite manufacturing, what have you, we can actually create new industries for South Central Kansas for the next hundred years so that we're not reliant simply on, uh, we obviously want to do everything we can to keep and expand our aviation cluster, but let's grow new clusters as well to make sure that we're at South Central Kansas in a growth prospect rather than just a staying, uh, staying with the status quo. Mike, same question. Uh, it, it's certainly jobs, the primary driver of that is uh, an enormous federal government. Uh, we can't continue to spend money that we don't have, uh, money that belongs to the generation behind us. It's improper, it doesn't work as a mathematical matter, and it's immoral to do that. Uh, I'll say here now, sometimes these candidates will, will sound the same, uh, we'll, we'll talk the same, but you ought, to, you ought to check each of the candidates out and see what the experience that is and bring to that. It seems to me if you're talking about uh, jobs and job creation, you ought to, you ought to hire someone to be your next congressman who's had one and who has been in the real world and created jobs and who's done that. Someone who did not actively campaign for this president who has destroyed more jobs in the 4th District of Kansas than any elected official in the history of the United States of America. This president went on TV and made it uh, ir un un completely uh, disrespectful to fly in an American-built airplane built right here in Wichita, Kansas. We've got a candidate up here who supported that president vigorously. And so when someone tells you they're about jobs, we need to take a look at each and every one of them and see what the experience that is that they bring. I have a deep understanding of what happens when you're trying to raise capital. I've done it. I've built a business from scratch. And when you go to folks and ask, hey, I'd like you to invest in my business, what they want to know is what kind of return am I going to get out of my money? And when you do that in America today, when you have a corporate tax structure that is the second worst corporate tax structure in the industrialized world, the chance of them helping you build your business in South Central Kansas is greatly decreased. And so we need to look to folks who understand it, who have lived in this world, and who have fought against the federal government as entrepreneurs and business people, not folks who have been on the government side uh, trying, to, trying to figure out how to grow unions, grow government, uh, and take on tasks that the government has no responsibility for. 